Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Our Catholic Prayers podcast. I'm Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. As we start the new year, many of us find it in our hearts as the calendar changes to want to become saints or at least to be more saintly. Do you draw up New Year's resolutions? Do you have numbered lists of what you hope to accomplish under the heading we often see in magazines such as New Year, New You? Are you going to try to lose weight? Shed some holiday pounds? Be nicer to your in-laws? Your co-workers? Exercise more? All these are quite noble goals, and I don't mean to make fun of them by any means, only to the degree to which these resolutions can become like an ice cube on a hot stove. Here's a way to turn your good intentions into actual improvements. I'm suggesting here some good spiritual resolutions. Ask God to help you with your prayer life and to guide you with some good spiritual reading, for starters. Let him enrich your life and increase the chances that this year will be a better year for you, no matter what this past troubled, turbulent year has been like. If nothing else, our Lord can help you cope with all the trials we're all facing in the midst of the pandemic and of so much loss of faith. Now's a good time to get a jump on Lent, for example. This year it starts on March 2nd. Try making up a list, or perhaps a table or chart in your favorite word processing or other such program, in which each week you gradually, bit by bit, as time allows, increase, say, the time you spend in prayer, in reading scripture or other such material, and praying the rosary. I have an example of how this chart might look in the description page for this podcast. Add or subtract time from your goals. Although if you can challenge yourself, even just a little, that will bring better results, much as with exercise. Use your own instincts, guided by the Holy Spirit, as to what will work best for you. For prayers, for example, You could use one of the many prayers from our website, OurCatholicPrayers.com, other good websites, or any one of the many good prayer books sold on Amazon or other such sites on the Internet. There are a couple of good pages that I will link to in the description page for this podcast that have extensive lists of some excellent reading material there as well. If you feel especially pressed for time, you can always start out simple, say, with one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory Be at the beginning and the end of each day, or perhaps some short prayers during the day, such as the ones suggested on our webpage entitled Aspirations, to ask God to help you cope, or for guidance with particularly challenging situations. A morning offering and an evening prayer are great ways to start and finish the day. I will link to these pages on the description page for this podcast. You might want to get in the habit of praying the rosary if you're not doing so already. This is a very powerful prayer, one highly favored by numerous saints as well as our Blessed Mother at Fatima. If you're not sure what to reflect on when praying it, You can try our scriptural rosary page or other such pages to give you food for thought. I will link to the scriptural rosary page on the description page for this podcast as well. If you find you can't pray all five decades of the rosary for each day's mysteries all at once, try praying a decade at a time during the day, meditating on a particular mystery. We have some suggestions on our description page for spiritual reading as well. 
These include various classics of our faith, written by and about various saints, and our page of links from Catholic Answers, a great source for learning more about Catholicism. Don't feel intimidated by these various links and suggestions. Take them for what they are, suggestions. I've found it best in giving myself various assignments to under-promise so that I can then hopefully over-deliver. I found those terms in an old eBay guide to good customer service. Too many people do the opposite, over-promising and under-delivering on something, such as those hawking TV gadgets that never work, or shady used car salesmen, or other such sleazy businessmen. This should not be an excuse for laziness in pursuing your spiritual goals, but quite the opposite, to encourage you to go further in your journey with our Lord and Our Lady. For example, promise them, say, one hour of prayer time and reading per week, keeping in mind what you think you can do, realistically speaking, in keeping up with your daily responsibilities. Then give them an hour and a half. Promise our Blessed Mother three rosaries per week. Then give her four. Or promise her one and give her two. Whatever works best for you. Here's another good idea for all Catholics. Add more Mass attendance to your schedule and make it a point to go to confession at least once a month. COVID conditions permitting, of course. The sacraments of the Eucharist in Mass and penance, confession, provide essential spiritual nourishment and can bring you closer to Jesus. Make it a point not to be just a C and E, Christmas and Easter, or an A and P, Ashes and Palms, Catholic. Also, whenever possible, promise our Lord and Our Lady some acts of charity or self-denial, such as fasting, perhaps one day a week, and then try for two. Whatever you think might be best. But do this all out of love for God. Keep in mind, in accordance with the little way of St. Therese, that even the smallest tasks, when done out of love for our Redeemer, can become mighty deeds indeed. I hope these links that I've mentioned that are listed on the description page for this podcast can be of some help and that some of these suggestions I've mentioned may help you put on the armor of God against the assaults of the devil that St. Paul spoke of in chapter 6 of his letter to the Ephesians, verses 11 through 17. On behalf of our Catholic prayers, I'd like to wish all of our readers a blessed and happy new year. Thanks for listening. I'm Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. Please feel free to share this podcast. And if you're listening to it on YouTube or some other host that allows you to subscribe to podcasts, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Our Catholic Prayers podcast channel. Until next time, God bless.